Okay, so here is Walmart's haul. You see husband legs in the background. <laughs> He's having his breakfast. <laughs> now, I'm, I'm just going to tell you right now. This here is what you get for $66. What are we going to do, people? I ain't going to argue about it. I'm just going to show you what we got. <laughs> well, you know what we were saying? When you try to eat healthy, like these breads, I use the Sara Lee um, 45 calorie. And then he likes the Nature's Own whole wheat. In the old days, we bought the, you know, whatever it was, the 99 cent white bread. Well, we don't eat white bread anymore. So then you end up with two loaves of bread for almost six bucks. So when you try to eat healthy, you do have to spend more. Some people say you don't. But in situations like this, you, you do have to spend more. So you just have to, you just have to eat it. You really have to eat it, right? <laughs> that was dumb. <laughs> so we got some, my husband's over laughing at me. <laughs> he knows how dumb I am. No pun intended. <laughs> you hear that smart Alec? <laughs> he lives with me for over 25 years. He knows what he's into. So these I've got for the um, the steakum sandwiches, and I don't know if I'll eat a whole one or not. It just depends, because they're kind of high in points. So I could cut it in half, I could cut it in a quarter or three quarters, something like that. So y'all know his favorite cranberry juice, and he's got some car work to do, so he needed some oven cleaner, because you know oven cleaner and cars go together. <laughs> I got the if y'all hadn't ever tried this. Um, this is good stuff. Stay tuned for our progressive collab. I'm using that. Some taters, because we're going to have... Y'all saw my menu. We're having several days worth of taters. Some onions. And then he likes these um, hash brown patties. And let's see. The carrots are for the beef stew tonight. Yeah, that's right. And then celery decided every time I know it's cheaper to buy a whole celery but we don't eat it I don't eat like celery and peanut butter celery and dip and David don't touch it unless it's cooked in something so I just decided to buy these little the little hearts in the little pack it's cheaper than hep this man over here is doing some kind of weird oh he is trying to signal me to say something and I have no clue what he is telling me <laughs> He is cla He looks like a chicken. He's bobbing his head and flapping his wings. <laughs> Yo, Lord, I need, I need help. Chicken salad. I ain't making chicken salad. No, I'm just saying that's all the way down, all the way out. Oh, he say the only. He's helping. Only re only way he'll eat celery is chopped up in his chicken salad, and he makes a good chicken salad. I'll t I'll give him that, even though I cannot stand his helmets like mayonnaise. When he makes a chicken salad, I'll eat it in that because it is good. Um. Then this is for my collab dinner. You'll just have to wait and see. And the green onions, that's for my collab. Now this um, fat-free evaporated milk is for my baked squash. I'm going to show y'all that too. These here, he gets on the road because y'all know he's a truck driver. And they got like little one and a half ounce, maybe two ounce if, if you're lucky, sleeves of these nuts for like three bucks at the truck stops. So this whole 15 ounces was only $7. So I'm going to divide it out and he'll save a ton of money. Then, of course, my favorite coffee. They actually had it in stock this week. And y'all know my coffee mate and him and his Joe Money Flips. And I, I popped one of them open, I think, in the um, bag. I think I did it. And the almond milk. and There's the skim milk and the eggs. And so this is my $66 haul. Now, you wait until you see my... Harris Teeter Hall. All right, so here is my big old Harris Teeter order. And when I told you on Walmart, we was going to get a whole lot more quality on Harris Teeter. I think you can see <laughs> every bit of this meat was buy one, get one free. So it was half off. Whatever the price on the ticket was, they took half off. Now, I saved on the broccoli and maybe one other thing. And the rest of the savings were just meat. And my savings was $132.81. So I got 
$132, you might as well say worth of free meat. And Harris Teeter always has really good meat. So for them to put on such a good sale, we were really excited. So the Steakums, they were buy one, get one free. And we're going to have those for um, some sandwiches. The slaw, now I ordered this. It goes with my lunch on my progressive meal. She called me because Harris Teeter, they're really good. They call you. They let you know what they got, what they're out of, if they substitute. And she said that the date on that was the 7th, but it still looked really good. So she just gave it to me for free. So <laughs> that was some good customer service right there. And then I got the bean sprouts that also go with that. And Brussels sprouts and broccoli go with something this week. Now, the Allegro marinade, if you've never had this, it's very good. This is what I'm making my bacon wrapped pork tenderloins with this week. The one that I'm going to show you, definitely show you how to make because it's really, really good and we, we like it a lot. So the way it turned out, and my squash back there, the squash cost about as much as probably this bacon right here. Even this center cut bacon was half off. So I got it half off. The rotisserie chicken, that's for my lunch thing. I was going to show you. Flair was in on this haul too. She got her worms today. <laughs> Baby girl got to eat too. So the way it worked out, the pork tenderloins worked out to $2.99 a pound. The chicken tenders were buying and get one free. I didn't buy them to stock up on. I just needed them for a meal, but they were buying and get one free. The roasts were, I think, $3.49 a pound for London Brawl. The stew beef was let's see two ninety nine a pound I think something like that one of the other the stew beef or the cube steak one was like three forty nine and one was two ninety nine for those two so we got um steak and gravy one day so I got four roasts I got four like four was our magic number four meals um and this looks like it might be enough the ad said they were in one pound packages, but this is actually a pound and a half. So I wouldn't have got four if I knew they were going to be bigger than what they were advertised. So a pound and a half is going to be plenty big for a meal. So I ended up with, let's see, no, maybe, yeah, I guess maybe I got six meals worth of stew. It says pot roast. I have no idea. It's stew beef. And then each one of these will make one meal. Of course, the roast will make one meal. The tenderloin will make one meal. So there you go. There is my not very big volume-wise. Well, I guess you would say the meat's volume. But we're stocked up on beef and pork for a while. So there you have it. That was my Walmart and my Harris Teeter for this week.